Greetings everyone, so today I want to make a timer video. I had a request like three weeks ago for a video to create a timer where it comes on at a certain time and then it cuts itself off at another time that you have designated for it to cut off. So let's get into making that routine possible with your Amazon voice assistant right after this. Okay, so let's dive right into the app and start making this routine. So first, of course, you know, you want to go into the app and then you want to go down to the more button. You want to go to routines and then you want to click the plus sign. Of course, you want to give the routine a name. So we're going to call this routine, let's say timer. Okay, so now that we have the name for the routine, what we're going to do is say when this happened. So we're going to click on that one. And instead of choosing a trigger like a voice, because we don't want to tell the routine to do something. We want the routine to run on its own. So what we're going to do for this instance is choose schedule. Once we get into schedule, we have an option between at time, sunrise or sunset. So we're going to choose at time because we want to specifically set a certain time frame. Now, once we get into the set time, we want to choose every day or we want to choose a particular day that we want this routine to run. So say I want this routine to run every day. I'm going to choose a time. And then I'm going to choose a time that I want the routine to trigger. For mine, it's going to be 7 p.m., which is 1900. I'm going to click OK. And now every day this routine is going to trigger at 7 p.m. Now, say you want the routine to run at different times on different days. Well, you would have to choose that particular day. Like every Monday, you want that routine to run at 6 p.m. instead of 7 you would have to do a 6 p.m. routine by itself. So we'd have to create different routines for different day of the week versus trying to create it for the entire week because this is the set time for the entire week. So you'd have to create a different routine for different days of the week if you want to use different time frame. Now we need to set up an action for this routine to run. So we're going to click add action. And for this one, we're going to trigger a device. So we're going to go all the way down to smart home and then we're going to choose all devices. We choose all devices so we can see all the devices that we have in our home. So if you got lights, you got smart switch, you got smart plug, whatever you have, you can choose it from this all list if your device is supported. Because there's some unsupported devices at the bottom, as you can see, they're just grayed out. And it's listed unsupported, as you can see. So let's go back up and we're going to choose the backyard light. Now we're going to click power on. It's already on, so we're going to leave it as it is. We're not going to worry about the brightness, and then we're going to choose next. So now this routine is going to come on every day at 7 p.m., all right? But I don't want it to stay on all night. Say I want it to cut off around 10 p.m. So we're going to click plus again, and then this time we're going to go all the way down to wait. Once we get to wait, we're going to choose a time frame. So let's choose, let's see, from 7 to 10, that's 3 hours. So we're going to choose 3 hours, and then we're going to say 0 minutes. So we're going to click Next. And as you can see, after 3 hours, it's going to cut off the lights. But we got to tell it that, you know. So let's add another action, and then we're going to go down to the Smart Home again. And then we're going to go to All Devices, or you can just choose Lights. And we're going to go backyard lights. We're going to click next, this time power. And then this time we're going to choose off. And then we're going to click next. Now, as you can see, it's out of order because it's got off, on, and then wait. So what you want to do is grab those two lines, hold it down, and just drag it all the way down to the bottom. So the light's going to come on, wait three hours, and then it's going to go off. Now, this routine can be modified to suit whatever needs smart switches, smart plugs, anything that you want to turn on and off at a certain period of time. Now, you only got four hours to choose from, so you can't set it for a 12-hour timer, for instance. So that's how you would set up a routine that works on a schedule all by itself without you intervening. So you don't have to tell your voice assistant to trigger that routine. It's going to automatically do it for you without you thinking about it. And like I said, this is an example, but I'm trying to get you to see that you can play with this routine to get what you really want out of it. All right, so I hope this routine was helpful. If you have any questions, leave it down in the comment. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Thanks for taking the time for watching. Have a good one, and I'll see you next time.